Today I'm at Dovestone Reservoir, which is just outside the village of Greenfield. The site is owned by United Utilities and it's managed in partnership with the RSPB. Here there are four disabled parking spaces and just behind me there's a toilet block where there is a disabled toilet. In order to get up to the start of the walk there is quite a steep incline. Once you get up to the start of the walk you can see these stunning views of the reservoir and the hills behind it. There's a two and a half mile walk around it and that's what we're going to check out today. When you start the walk it's best to cross over the dam wall first. The path is loose compacted gravel and you continue clockwise around the reservoir. Once you cross over the dam wall you come to a steep incline with a tarmac surface and most people will need assistance with this. After the steep incline, the path turns into loose gravel, which is quite bumpy. Once you come to the end of a gravel path, you come to this, which is a tarmac surface, although in some places it's really rough due to erosion. Also, this hill gets steeper and steeper and a lot of manual wheelchair users will need help with it. Once you get to the top of the steep slope, there's this gate here, which you can open with a radar key. Just simply put the key in, turn it around, open the lock, slide it back and then give it a push. But please, make sure that you shut the gates after you've used them. The views are just breathtaking, it's unbelievable. And the Victorian spillways are just so impressive, the architecture is just immense. Once you get to about halfway around, you come to a rough cobbled section, but you can keep off the worst of it by keeping to one side. There are also cattle grids and gates like these. It's really important that you shut them after you've used them to keep the livestock in the area that they're supposed to be in. Towards the end of the walk, there's a really steep downhill bit and you just need to take particular care when descending it. We've come to the end of the circular walk now and the last section from the stream back up to the car park is a flat tarmac surface. So if you want a shorter linear route, that might be ideal for you. The longer circular walk is quite challenging, but the views are spectacular and we've had the most gorgeous day out. So on behalf of the RSPB and United Utilities, we really hope that you come and enjoy this walk.